Everything Jerome set his mind to, his insanity gas failed. Other than some mild cosmetic effects, he might as well have sprayed me with water. You all need to see Jerome for the utter dud that he was. So I donned the mask of madness to show you how feeble that is compared to actual greatness. Behold. The face of true sanity. But looks aren't everything. I have a compendium of Jerome's obsessions and goals. And I will outdo every one of them. Jerome wanted to turn Gotham into a madhouse. But to truly build something, you must first tear down what is already there. I apologize for the deception, Jim. I needed to ape Jerome in order to persuade his followers to throw that macabre celebration at your police station. They are a pathetic lot, but not without their uses. Ah, sidebar. That is a self-perpetuating generator. It can store a phenomenal amount of energy. I would hate to be within a mile of it if it were to... Overload. Think about it, you want to carry out Jerome's crazy plan sanely? What could be madder than that? Matter. Let's see. Ah, here for example. Jerome wanted to slather you in honey and have you eaten alive by corpse beetles. Now that's mad. Me, if I want to kill you, I'll just do it. I'll shoot you in the head. Simply and sanely. Jeremiah. But I don't want to kill you. Are you gonna listen? You're gonna behave like children. See, I don't want to kill you because I want to show you how much I've changed things. How much we've changed things. Because I could not have done any of this without your help. 
I help. That sound you are hearing, that is a very bad sound. One which I'm afraid makes you something of a guinea pig, Jim. I feel very indebted to you, Bruce. See those generators that we built with your money. They work even better as bombs. That's one down. Jim Gordon is dead. No! No! Yes, Bruce. Sorry, but progress requires sacrifice. I'm going to stop you. I really hope you don't try. I would hate to have to kill you. In fact, I can honestly say you are my very best friend. What the hell? You might not recognize Jerome's followers as I've given them something of a makeover, but I assure you they're as loyal to me as they ever were to him. More so. I accomplished something my brother never could. Killing James Gordon. Jeremiah, Jeremiah! You're a liar! Not so fast. I have bombs planted around the city, just like the one that killed Jim Gordon. Jeremiah, Jeremiah! All you need to know is if I hit this detonator, Gotham's blown back to the Stone Age. If I pull this trigger, your brains are blown through the back of your skull. Dead man switch. You're familiar. It's another little something I took from my brother, except mine's a bit more advanced. You shoot me, my thumb loosens, and then boom, 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 boom. No, you will do what I say. You're more sick than your brother. <laughs> Don't compare me to that short-sighted psychopath. He just wanted to destroy things. Me, I'm a builder. I'm gonna create a new Gotham in my image, but every artist needs a blank canvas, so all of this has to go. I detonate the explosives in six hours. I want the city empty when I do. You need us to evacuate Gotham in six hours? That's impossible! And then everyone who dies screaming, who watches their loved ones crushed before them, will have you to thank Detective Bullock. Look, nobody has to die. Well, except for these people. I know seeing is believing, and I do want you to believe me, so... God! Get officers on the scene now! Go! Six hours, detective. The clock is ticking. Not one step closer, Mr. Velasco. And is that my dear Jongleur with my core relay in his hand and a grenade taped to his mouth? Indeed it is. Huh. Huh. It seems you have the upper hand. Undoubtedly. And now, we have our own demands. Fifty million dollars. That's what you want. It's a nice round number. I don't quite have that on me right now. You gave the mayor six hours to evacuate Gotham. An impossible task. Let him buy another hour. He will save thousands of lives. Fifty million dollars will seem cheap. I see. I play the villain, you get away scot-free and rich. I get you the money. You give me back my core relay. That is usually how a handoff works. Yeah. You drive a hard bargain, but I'll see what I can do. Just like that? After knowing your brother, I expected something more... Insane. Oh, I'm nothing if not sane and reasonable. Two things my brother never valued. That's why I'll be successful where he fails. Well, that and being 
vastly more intelligent. Now to see about your money. This is Jeremiah Velasca. I'd like to speak to the mayor. I have additional demands. Yes, really. Fifty million unmarked bills. I'll tell you the location. We're not just going to hand this thing over and let him destroy Gotham, are we? Of course not. Once we get... And we hear Butch. And that. Certainly. Would you believe it? They put me on hold. Mm. Well, mm. there's always plan number two. Get down! Are you out of your mind? Why do you keep insisting I'm insane? What's insane about having a backup plan? Something John Glare never knew about. And so you know, this building is within the blast radius, and because of your interference, I'm gonna detonate the bombs as soon as I'm far enough away to observe the destruction in peace. No, you promised the city six hours! And whose fault is it that I changed my mind? Tell our men to rewire the bombs to work in direct sequence and the rest of you, kill these idiots. All my life I spent by myself, hidden away. I am so glad to be sharing this happy moment with all of you. Today marks the dawning of a new Gotham City. One where we will all be free. Now, shall I do the... That's Jim Gordon. He's not dead. This is a message to the followers of Jeremiah Valeska. Jeremiah claims to have killed me. Well, bad news. I'm alive. I know it's a trick. I killed him. So just know you're worshipping a fraud. A pale imitation of Jerome. You did your worst, Jeremiah. And I'm still here. You lied to us. Gordon's alive. It doesn't matter why he's alive. When I hit this switch, you'll hear the sounds of a new world being born. Oh, for the love of God. Our world. Inky, inky, money, mom. Which are you and make it world. Now, listen. Disappointing. To be fair, the day is not over yet. I'd like to press charges against Bruce Wayne's butler. I mean, 
just look at my face. I think you look great. And I'd like to speak to Bruce again. We couldn't really talk before. What with his girlfriend bleeding out all over him? You tried to prove you're better than your brother. But I'm still here. The city's still here. You're a failure, Jeremiah. Enjoy Arkham. Your brother did. Put him in the box. Get him ready for transport. Bring me Bruce Wayne and I'll tell you where the other bombs are. We have all your bombs. Maze bombs, yes. I mean the other ones. Jim, as an engineer, you expect systems to fail, so you build in redundancies. And I am a very good engineer. Bluffing. Am I? How many lives are you willing to pet? You're right, you know. I did fail. I didn't yet understand the vision I was servicing, but I do now. My eyes are open, as will yours be. When you realize I'm not bluffing, bring me Bruce Wayne. And I'd like a coffee. Black. Two sugars. Hello, Bruce. It's great to see you. Where are the bombs, Jeremiah? Closer, please. Closer. Tell me. How's the young lady doing? You know why we're destined to be best friends? Because we're very much alike. You are as I used to be, at war with your true nature. You must truly embrace it if you ever want to be free. I'm just trying to help you. Trying to help me? By torturing Alfred? Trying to destroy Gotham by shooting Selina? You think we're alike because there's a darkness inside both of us. But the difference is, I know how to control mine. I think you could be so strong. I see it. He sees it too. Ask him about the bombs. Where are the other bombs? What bombs? Bombs you planted around the city. You blew up the mayor. Uh, that bomb. Yes, that was the only one. But it did what it had to do. It got you here. Right, that's enough. I want my boy out, mate. You said he. Who do you mean? The one who opened up my eyes, who showed me that everything I was doing was not to create a Gotham of my own, but yours. The Gotham you need. Your dark island, and it will come to be, Bruce. Tonight. Tell me his name. What did the doctor say? With a little bit, shall I walk again? What vertebrae did I sever? I was... Hoping for the Lombard. Tell me his name! You already know his name. You're his heir. Shuckle. Knock him. Shh. It's true. How did you two find each other? I'd like to think it was you, Bruce. You brought us together. I trust things went smoothly? Like clockwork. Did your men retrieve my bombs? They are en route to their positions as we speak. From here, we can take in the full majesty of Gotham's destruction. 
You're both insane. I know it's difficult to fathom, Bruce. But Jeremiah and I are doing this for your benefit. How is destroying Gotham supposed to help me? Because I had a vision that out of this crucible of blood and fire will rise the dark night that your city needs, that I need. To be honest, Bruce, prophecies, visions, not really my cup of tea. But our friend revealed something to me. That my twin obsessions, rebuilding Gotham and rebuilding you, are one and the same. You're the brother I never had. One Jerome never could be. We will create a legacy in this city. Gotham falls, we rise. Together. Oh, hey, Bruce. Freak. So you know, this is for Selena. In that case, it must be very disappointing for you, dying like this. <laughs> 